When it comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. You work hard to protect what is precious. We stand beside you, behind you, with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. You can count on us to help you. Day. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought burger and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger and absolutely nothing else. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello and welcome to another week of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Clarence Bugs, along with the coach at the Embassy Suites Hotel, 4914 Constitution Avenue, Baton Rouge's newly remodeled <coughs> Showplace Hotel for all your lodging and convention needs. Coach, since the last time we were with our home audience, the Cowboys at McNeese State pay a visit to Lee Hines Field. Harold Miles gets the start, and unfortunately, we did not pitch well all night long. We did not only pitch well, we didn't play well. and. You know, you never want to make excuses for young people because they're embedded in excuses. Right. In that, you know, the final has started for some kids. We, we had a couple of them not being able to play. So when you do that and you have to plug in and things don't happen and mentally you're not there, so I gave y'all an excuse. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we ended up having the rough inning or rough <laughs> innings and we were not able to recover that's been a bit of a recurring theme all season coach. yeah this is not a team that they'll do well with having to recover you need everything to go well and as I used to use in years past they need that 72 degree 72 degrees is the ideal condition that people set their air condition to mm -hmm. and our young people been taught by parents you want to live in a 72 percent uh, degree environment. So once it got 80 degrees, we were in trouble. Unfortunately, when the pitching falters, it ends up affecting our performance at the plate as well, correct? Yeah, and when we miss two of our top, the number three and the number five hole hitter, you're asking for problem. Mm -hmm. Because now you got to ask somebody else to do something they're not accustomed to doing. When we played McNeese State on the road at their place, tight game, we lost that one five to four. Seems like that trend of we play better on the road than we do at home continues. How do you explain that, Coach? Clarence, I never have to correct you, but this time I have to correct you. We won 5-4 I'm sorry, on the correct, road. but we turn around and lose big time here at home. But again, we play better on the road than we do at home. I, well, our record that? is better on the road than at home. Right. I mean, the last three or four years, it's just crazy. You're asking me to explain that? Tell me why the sky is blue. <laughs> <laughs> if you could figure that one out, well, we'd be on the road to a, an outstanding season all the way around. When we come back, we take a look at the final conference series of the regular season right here on the Coach Roger Cato Show. <laughs> Stay close. <laughs> The Coach Roger Kador Show is proudly sponsored by Shoppers Value Foods, formerly Piggly Wiggly.
don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Eureka! What in tarnation? Let's go! Now go, Russ is on! The rush is on for Gold Rush from the lottery. Win up to $200,000. Get in the rush with Gold Rush from the lottery. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hi, Coach Roger Kador here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Ralph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000 or findfletchernow.com, 888-8000. Welcome back for segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach, we hit the road for our final conference series of the regular season, taking on Grambling State. We had already clinched our spot in the conference postseason tournament. Did you have any worries that the team might not play as hard or as smart as they could, knowing we already have our postseason conference hopes locked in? No, no Clarence, I did make a plea to the kids. I talked to him that there was a certain amount of tradition right. that exists when Southern plays Grambling mm -hmm. and that they were entitled to hold on to that tradition, play up to their best ability, and represent what this tradition stands for. And they all nodded in agreement. And I knew then that we were in business. Game one, Jamarcus George gets the nod, gets all the run support he needs. And on top of that, Ryan Flynn comes out and we get great relief good outing offensively and defensively. Well, you know, Jamarcus George had to do what he had to do. Now, I rode him pretty good. I was mm -hmm. on him pretty good from the dugout. Right. I told him about how he had to do certain things, and if he didn't do it, that he wasn't representing yeah. what left-handers do and all of that. And then when he got six in and Ryan Flynn, who had not pitched more than one inning, right. or maybe two innings this year, came in and pitched three scoreless innings. But he threw a lot of strike and kept him off balance. Let's go to the rolling hills of North Louisiana. We'll roll the highlights in the truck. And, Coach, we'll let you do the honors from game three. Oh, Grambling, what a lot of dust was out there this weekend. You know, for people with sinus and allergy like me, it's tough. But Jose De La Torre said from Puerto Rico, I'm going to do a lot of damage in Grambling because the sun is nice, the skies are blue, and it's, uh, the trees are green. And Grambling, you can live a long time because there's no chemical plants up there. That's why you, Eddie Robinson, Hobby, and Ellis, all those coaches at Ravdo and Ellison, Jones lived a long a time. A long time, coach. There's no pollution in North Louisiana. So Jose hit the ball really good, and there he's getting a lot of love from his teammates. And uh, so, you know, that was just the start, and there is uh, this is game where... Uh, uh, Good job. Good job. We did not do very well by Raphael Diaz, our closer. We wanted to start him to fix some things, mm -hmm. and we broke more things than we fixed <laughs> by starting him because he didn't do very well. And there is Kersey, Tomahawk in the ball. But look at Kersey. He really played well. He's getting a triple here. What I'm looking at, not Kersey, but the green trees, players. For me, green trees mean life. And a lot of people look at it differently. Now, here's a, 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 a Torres uh, hitting the ball. The second baseman made a really good play. Boy, I tell you, Rivers Frederick had the time of his life. He went 10 for 18. Wow. He had a great series. 
and he did it all by staying within himself. And he's had a pretty good second half of the season as well, Coach. Really good. And uh, Fontenot, we brought him in, and we needed to do something. And, you know, he gave up six hits, but he only gave up this one run. You see, what you can do is give up hits, but you got to spread them. And there is a great hit by Gavin. I tell you, Gavin swung the bat well all weekend. I think we finally fixed him with his stride. Mm -hmm. He's been over stride all year. I just hope that when we play again, he stay with that stride because if he does, he's poised to do something really good in the swipe tournament. And you know what? Gavin has got the greatest attitude. No matter how hard I get on him, he's always saying, Coach, you're right. I wish more kids were like that because I said to kids, you actually think I'm going to fuss at you for doing something good? Right. I fuss to make you do something right. And he understands that. But maturity level is different with kids. And we live in a time with kids, they want everything to be yes, and I'm good, and I'm better than sliced bread. And it doesn't exist that way. When we come back, we move ahead to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. You work hard to protect what matters most. Your family, your life, your health. We stand behind you with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. Thank you for relying on us to help you. to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey coach, it sounds like savings to me. Yes, that and an easy Diamond Monster buying experience. As easy as can be. Just go to your computer or your cell phone, go to diamondmonster.com, view all our inventory, new and pre-owned, apply for credit and get approved in seconds. Now that sounds easy, Jeremy. On airline highway or on the web, you know we'll, we'll be, be waiting, waiting for you. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought burger and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger and absolutely nothing else. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Coach, you switched up the weekend rotation for this last conference series. What was that all about, and were you pleased with the results? Yeah, well, we did it simply because no matter what we did, we were already number two seed. Right. And we wanted to give Santos some rest mm -hmm. because he had logged a lot of innings prior to that. And uh, uh, Fondo, James Fondo, had not pitched good. So we said, let's try to do something else. Throw Jamarcus Russ, uh, uh, Jamarcus George mm -hmm. in the mix and Tyler Robinson, who hadn't pitched as much, and then start Rafael Diaz. So right. uh, Jamarcus did well. Tyler Robinson did well. They got us deep into the game, mm -hmm. which we needed. And plus, we scored runs. So once we got to game three, we knew it might be some issues there because Rafael Diaz had not done well even in relief, let alone starting. So, and he proved this right. He gave up a bunch of runs early, and we had to get him out of there. Speaking of game three, let's go back to Grambling State University, and we'll pick up highlights from game three. Coach, we'll let you do the honors. Yeah, there is uh, 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 Fagno there, and Jose De La Torre 
made a great throw in the, in the, in the, in the life of Bonita Santiago. He threw from his knees. I tell you, Lance, Lance Jones have done a great job once we move him from lead off to the ninth hole. He's accepted that and did really well. And here's Flynn making a great pitch here, a double play. I tell you, Marcus Tomlin is the most unsung hero. Nobody notices him. He does nothing good. He runs better than, well, not you or I, but he doesn't hit better than you or I. But we love him because he does everything well. Mm -hmm. And he never think about himself. He always think about the team. And there is Jose De La Torre hitting his second or third home run, third home run of the series. We hit nine home runs in this game. I mean, in the, in the three-game series. series right. Nine home runs. So it indicates the, what the potential we have and we could do. There is Santos, and there is the last oh, play. Nice. You know, oh, he threw it away. Oh, I'm going to kill him. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean kill him. I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> if I kill him, they're going to arrest me. I'm going to talk to oh, my man. Uh, well, I can't even think of his name. What's his name? My shortstop. Made a great play right there. Robinson, <laughs> Robinson Mateo. I'm going to talk with him. And we go, he's going to laugh. Look at this. Now, I tell you, what they don't see is the great play that DJ Wallace made there. Now, they say, oh, he didn't get him at home. But that one hand scoop of that ball, he made out there, saved the ball from going beyond it. And there is Santos. You know, I went out there and told him a nice thing or two. And I said, you're representing more than yourself. Look how he made that play. I said, you're representing the country of Mexico. You re representing Mexico, do it well. You see, when kids understand what they're doing, they do things better once you make them understand it. This team obviously has grown over the course of the season. Are they more coachable now than ever, Coach? You're not going to get me to answer that. <laughs> You're still dealing with young people. They determine what they want to do mm. at the time they want to do it. Listen, they know what they can do if they put their minds up to it. We're going to encourage them and motivate them, and hopefully the Swike Tournament is a big enough crown that they would want to go after. When we come back, we move ahead to segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. Hi, Coach Roger Cato here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Ralph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000. Or findfletchernow.com. 888-8000. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Your Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. You know, there's something to be said in this line of work about longevity. And the gentleman sitting next to me has been in that capacity now for 30 plus years. Our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, takes a look at 30 years and Coach Roger Kador. Aaron, take it away. Thanks, Clarence. Yes, Coach is coming to the end of his third decade of coaching. So I asked him what he learned, some of his favorite moments, and what's to come. Maybe 30 more years of coaching. Coach 
Cater is in his 30th year of coaching baseball at Southern University. As the season is coming to an end, Coach Cater is reflecting back on his time spent at Southern and all the great things that have happened over the years. He said one of the best moments was in 1984 when he was offered the head coaching job. Recruiting was his first assignment, but no problem for Coach. I'm in the ba head baseball coach, and that was a great moment because I found out in a hurry that I had to go out and recruit, and I enjoy recruiting so much. Some other top moments that stand out include beating Cal State Fullerton. 1987 is when we beat Cal State Fullerton in the regional in New Orleans, our first regional. We beat them one up. Then 2003, we beat uh, uh, Southern Miss at Southern Miss in the NC region. What made that special was the racist uh, moment that we experienced in Hattiesburg with the fans and uh, a representative of the NCAA, how bad they try to treat us and how my players responded. That was a really big win for us. Of course, in 2003, when Ricky Weeks won the Golden Spikes Award again, first time at a historical black college, a player won that type of award. Besides all the big wins Coach and his players have experienced over the years, Coach hopes that each year, each class of players come in and take away a great educational experience. That their experience here was good. They learned a lot from what we try to teach them. And we try to teach them to be responsible and uh, grow up to be a, a young man that's going to be a head of a household one day. Coach said being at Southern for years as a student, then coach, has taught him one very important thing. Patient, 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 and to do a lot with very little. And I think that is a good thing because sometimes you get to benefit from doing a lot with a little. Coach Kadar published and released his first book last year. Many people who read the book found out they had similar situations like I did. They came out of a tough situation. It may not have been identical to mine, but it was the same type of struggle that they overcame to be successful. When it comes to goals Coach came into this job with, he says he never sets goals, and it worked out great for him. What isn't a goal is coaching for another 30 full years. He isn't ready to leave just yet, but he understands the value of giving others a shot. I hope I live another 30 years, but I certainly won't be coaching another 30 years. That's not my goal. I don't want to be selfish. I want to be able to move forward and do other things because I do have the capability of doing a lot of good things if I'm allowed to. Ask Coach Kadar to sum up his time here at Southern, and he says it's been a beautiful ride. I remember when I first started working in basketball as an assistant coach, my wife Donna at the time told me, maybe we could stay here two years. Who would have ever thought that it turned into be so many years and it's been wonderful moments. <laughs>
There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tool, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Welcome back to the closing segment of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach, having secured our spot in the conference tournament, what are you going to be looking to tweak, work on between now and then? The only thing I'm trying to do this week is let them get finals mm -hmm. beyond them. I tell you, you know, it's so important for them to get the finals done. We have so many kids graduating. And then we'll play uh, Southeastern on Wednesday on night. Wednesday, right. We're having a, a crawfish ball on Thursday nice. for all of the supporters of Southern University Baseball to come out at the president's house at Southern <laughs> University. The way this season started, could you be any prouder of the way this team hung in there and ended up making the conference tournament as the number two seed? Well, I'm extremely proud of them because you know what? When they struggle with three and 15, right. I almost gave up on them. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Psychologically, I have to give credit to one person, Tyler Kersey. Tyler Kersey spoke up for all of his players. You see, not many people are willing to put themselves on the line and say, I support my teammates. Mm -hmm. Tyler Kersey showed me something when he came in and said, I want to talk to you, and I want to help my players and my teammates. Tyler, I love you. And speaking of people we love, the awesome guys and girls over at Embassy Suites Hotel for hosting us here each and every week. Baton Rouge's newly remodeled Showcase Hotel for all your lodging and, of course, for all your convention needs. That's going to do it for another week here. On behalf of the coach, Roger Cador, and the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another exciting edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Till then, go Jags. <laughs>